Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of subtraction, specifically how we can subtract across zeros, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So one of the problems that third graders run across is when they are asked to subtract some numbers and there is a zero and they have to borrow against that or borrow across that. And Sometimes it's easy, but sometimes it seems a little bit difficult. So we're just going to look at a simple problem here, 403 minus 156. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw my 403. So I've got 400s flat. So you notice I have no 10s flats. And I'm going to draw three little dots down here. These are going to represent my 1s cubes. So I need to take away six ones cubes because if you look on the second row, I need three minus six. Well, obviously I only have three ones cubes. I can't take six away. So typically I would borrow a 10, break up a 10 into 10 ones, but I don't have any tens. So I actually have to go all the way over to my 400 and I have to take up one of these hundreds and I'm going to break that up into 10 tens because you can't break up a 100 into ones you can only break it up into the next value i'm going to put them in two groups of five so i now have three hundreds and ten tens because four hundreds flats is the same as three hundreds flats and ten tens because i haven't changed the value now i have a 10. now i can get rid of this 10 right here i'm going to kind of scribble it out and guess what? Now I have these 10 ones. Let me add 10 ones here. And now I can subtract. And so I'm going to take that away. So now I've only got nine tens, but I've got 13 ones, the three original ones and the 10 from the 10. Now getting rid of my six ones is going to be easy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 13 minus six is seven. I can take five tens away. I've already gotten rid of one ten to make my ten one. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Nine minus five is four tens left. And I've got three hundreds minus one hundred. That's going to simply be two hundred. Two hundred forty-seven. If we wanted to double check that, you can always add back up. Take your two hundred forty-seven, add one hundred fifty-six, and you should get, there's 510, 403. Let's look at a different example. Another problem might be 300 minus 167. So I'm going to draw my hundreds flats again. First, I need to take away seven ones, but I can't take seven ones away because I don't have any ones. So the first thing we can do is we're going to break up one of these hundreds into 10 tens. I'm going to put them in two groups of five. The reason I'm not using uh, the fifth one as kind of like a slash, like you would tallies, because these are supposed to be 10 rods, so they're not necessarily tallies. Now I've got 10 tens, and I can get rid of one of my tens and regroup it into 10 ones. So you end up having to do two different regroupings before you can even get to your one. So I'm going to take away one of my tens. I've got nine left. Now I've got 10 ones. Once you do all that work, the subtraction is pretty easy because you should subtract like normal, but you have to do two separate regroupings. So 10 minus 7, so I'm going to get rid of 5, 6, 7. I've got three ones left. 9 minus 6, so I'm going to take away 6 10s, and I've got three tens left. 2 minus 1, I'm going to get rid of another 100. I've got 100 left. Why don't you try? Here's a problem for you, 500 minus 222. Go ahead and get out a pencil, piece of paper, pause the video, work it out, and when you're done, unpause the video and check your answer. As always, to help out, I'm gonna draw my 500s flats, and I need to take away two ones, but I can't do that until I regroup a few times. So I'm gonna take one of my 100s flats, and I'm gonna break it up into 10 tens. Then I'm gonna take one of my tens, I'll get rid of that one, and I'm going to make it into 10 ones. Once I have that, my regrouping is easy. 10 minus two is going to be eight. Nine minus two is going to be seven. And four minus two is going to be two. So the answer is gonna be 278.